excited because I'm going to show you how you can make your very own clear tote bag. But the exciting part is that it's a no sew project. It is very easy to make and so inexpensive as well. So if you want to see how you can make this tote bag, just keep on watching. For this DIY, you'll need PVC plastic. You can get this off of any fabric store for fairly inexpensive. Try to get the second plastic in a thickness. Since they are several plastic, they are more thick. A scrap piece of cotton fabric, and it has to be cotton because otherwise it's not going to work. An iron, preferably a hair iron, but my sister couldn't find hers, so I just used a regular iron and it still worked. But the hair one has a little bit more control. Cutting tools such as scissors and or X-Acto knife. The X-Acto knife worked wonders for me. A cutting mat and or a ruler to measure and marking tools if needed like water markers and finally an ironing board okay let's get started start off by marking and cutting out these measurements on your plastic a big rectangular that has a width of 16 and a half inches and a height of 31 inches and two strips that have the measurements of 22 inches height and one inch width and then you need to cut them out once you have cut them take your bigger piece and one of your straps with a ruler, measure four and a half inches from the corner and mark it and repeat on the other corner. Now take your strip and place it on the mark overlapping an inch of the strip on the plastic like so. Now take a scrap piece of fabric and place it on top of the strip and the plastic and with your iron, make sure there's no steam, start ironing on top of the plastic. The fusing process takes very little time, approximately 12 to 20 seconds. Then wait for the plastic to cool before removing the fabric and then repeat on the other end then on the opposite side of the plastic with the other strap. Once most of your strips are fused to the plastic, take the piece with the strips and fold them in half. Make sure the side where you fuse the strips is facing you. Now it's time to fuse the edges together. To do so, I created a guide out of my fabric. I marked it two inches and then I marked half of the inches. This is just so I can have a little bit more control over the plastic. But if you're using a hair iron, you may have more control. I don't recommend you to mark the limit with a pen or a marker because once you iron it, the marks won't come up even if you use water markers. So we are going to fuse only half an inch of the edges, so just iron from both sides and then turn the piece the other way and iron again. This is to secure the plastic and really fuse it together. This process takes about 30 seconds per edge from every side. Once the two edges from both sides are fused, wait until the edges are cool. Now check if all the edges are fused from the inside. If there's any hole, repeat the fusing process. Once all the edges are fused, if you have any excess plastic hanging from the edge, you may trim it with scissors and that's pretty much it. You just need to turn the bag inside out, but I totally forgot to record that. However, I got to warn you guys, this is plastic, so the edges might rip after a while. So I recommend you to use this bag to carry uh, not so heavy things. Uh, you can use it to go to the beach or to the pool or to carry stuff in notebooks those kind of days when you don't have a lot of classes and stuff like that. Or if you want to make this bag more durable, you can do all this process but instead of using the plastic, you can use a strong plastic glue. They sell uh, special plastics for PVC but also E6000 works well. But since I wanted to use this bag just to take stuff to the pool, this is a really good way to do it so. But also using the glue, it will still be a no-sew project, so you can still do that. You can totally sew it if you have a sewing machine and a special needle for the plastic. So I hope you like this video guys, if you like it don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and if you are, thank you so much because you make me so happy. Also, you can follow me on my social medias that will be listed down below to see what my future DIYs I'm going to be doing, or any kind of video for that matters. Those links will be listed in the description below, as well if you recreate any of my DIYs, you can send me pictures and I can see them and retweet them and favorites and whatever. And with that being said, see you in the next video guys, bye bye!